is a week of faithful celebration. On Monday and Tuesday nights, Jewish families and friends in the United States and around the world gathered for a Seder to commemorate the exodus from Egypt and the triumph of hope and perseverance over injustice and oppression. On Sunday, my family will join other Christians all over the world in marking the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And while we worship in different ways, we also remember the shared spirit of humanity that inhabits us all, Jews and Christians, Muslims and Hindus, believers and non-believers alike. Amid the storm of public debate with our 24-7 news cycle in a town like Washington that's consumed with the day-to-day, -day, it could sometimes be easy to lose sight of the eternal. So on this Easter weekend, let us hold fast to those aspirations we hold in common as brothers and sisters, as members of the same family, the family of man. All of us know how important work is, not just for the paycheck, but for the peace of mind that comes from knowing you can provide for your family. As Americans and as human beings, we seek not only the security, but also the sense of dignity, the sense of community that work confers. That's why it was heartening news that last month, for the first time in more than two years, our economy created a substantial number of jobs instead of losing them. We've begun to reverse the devastating slide, but we have a long way to go to repair the damage from this recession, and that will continue to be my focus every single day. All of us also value our health and the health of our loved ones. All of us have experienced an illness, a loss, or a personal tragedy. All of us know that no matter what we're doing or what else is going on in our lives, if the health of someone we love is endangered, nothing else matters. Our health is the rock upon which our lives are built, for better and for worse. All of us value education. We know that in an economy as competitive as ours, an education is a prerequisite for success. But we also know that ultimately education is about something more, something greater. It's about the ability that lies within each of us to rise above any barrier, no matter how high, to pursue any dream, no matter how big, to fulfill our God-given potential. All of us are striving to make a way in this world to build a purposeful and fulfilling life in the fleeting time we have here. A dignified life, a healthy life, a life true to its potential, and a life that serves others. These are aspirations that stretch back through the ages, aspirations at the heart of Judaism, at the heart of Christianity, at the heart of all the world's great religions.